Hello, welcome to Extreme Web Designs. This is Rocky. In this video, we'll see how to add cards to YouTube videos. To get an idea of what cards are and how they would look on a video, just take a look at this side panel that's open. This is a card that has been added uh, to one of my videos and it's showing a random video that I selected from my existing playlist. We have different options for a card that we can actually take a look at. So let's go ahead and try to add one card to one of our existing videos. So log in into your YouTube dashboard and then click on the video manager. And then choose the video to which you would like to add a card to. In this case, I would like to add a card to this video. So I'm going to click the edit button here. Wait for it to load and then in the top section over here, click on the cards button and wait for it to load. And here, just click on the add card button. Here are the different options that you can choose from. So let's quickly go through what these options stands for so that you make an informed decision about which type of card is best for you. So the first one says a video or playlist, which means you can add a specific video or a playlist that's actually existing in your YouTube account. So in my case, I'm going to go ahead and click the create button and then add one of the existing videos to show up in my card. So in my case, I'm going to select the how to delete a user account video and then click on the create card button. And that's going to add a card to my video. Note that the time that is shown here, which is 0.01, .01, reflects the number of seconds at which the card will appear when a user is actually viewing that. So my video is 3 minutes and 27 seconds long. And I want to show this card when the user reaches the 3 minute and 15 seconds mark. So this is the timeline of the video. And this is a slider that you can actually drag to indicate where you want to position the card. So in my case, I'm going to drag the slider and place it on 3 minutes and 15 second mark so that my card appears at 3 minutes and 15 seconds. Now, my changes are auto saved, so I don't have to worry about it. Now let's verify whether the card is working fine or not. So I'm going to visit the video. Okay, now I have paused the video at the 3 minute and 12 second mark just so that we can play the video and watch what exactly happens at the 3 minute and 15 second mark. So pay attention to the top right hand corner of the screen at 3 minute and 15 second mark. So let me go ahead and resume the video. As you can see at the 3 minute and 15 second mark, the card has automatically showed up and I can click this eye icon to actually show the video that I have added from my playlist. So that's how you can add a card to the video and this is the place where it shows up for a user. So likewise, we can add up to 5 cards in total and I can choose to add any of the cards that I feel is applicable for my video. So if I want to promote another channel, I can click on the create button against this channel option and that will ask me to provide information about the other YouTube channel that I want to link to via this card. And the other options are for donation, which is a link to one of the nonprofit organizations. You can read more about that by visiting the learn more link here. And you have the option to run a poll and you can actually create a poll and add more choices as you see fit. So if you want to survey your users about what they exactly like about your videos, you can do so by adding the poll option and that will show up at the 3 minute 15 second mark in my case if I were to add it. So let's look at the other options. Now the last one is the link to an approved website and if I try to click on this enable, it's going to ask me to agree to the terms and if I click on accept, so once I accept that, I have to go back and click on the add card and then I'll be able to see the create button against the link option. So let's click on this and then you will get to see 
the option to enter the website URL to which you want to link. So those are the options available for creating a card. So let's see how to add multiple cards to the same video. Now I would like to show a card at the 1 minute and 30 second mark. So let's see how to do that. I want to add the card to link to another video. So let me go ahead and click the create button against the video or playlist option. And then I'm going to select this how to create a guest account video and then click on the create card option. And then if you have noticed the option to run the video has appeared automatically at the 3 minute and 15 second mark and I want to change that. So here's how you can adjust the timings at which the different cards show up. Simply drag the slider that corresponds to the video that you want to adjust. So if you hover over the slider, it will tell you what video that slider relates to. I want to leave the slider for the video how to delete a user account at the 3 minute and 15 second mark and adjust the how to create a guest account video slider. So let me go ahead and drag that to 1 minute and 30 second mark and the changes are saved. Now let's see if this card has been added. I'm going to verify my changes. Let me skip to the 128 mark and let's play the video to see what happens at the card section. The taskbar can be manually dragged. There you go. And we are able to see this card now I'm able to see the video at the 1 minute and 30 second mark so this is how you can add multiple cards to the same video if you found this video to be helpful please feel free to hit the like button leave a comment share it on social media and subscribe to the channel soon after you subscribe make sure you tap the bell icon located right next to the subscribe button to receive all future updates Thanks for watching.